Broadcasting from Silicon Valley, California, this is Conversations with Jenny Lynn. Thank you for watching Conversations with Jenny Lynn. Today I have a beautiful woman whose name is Pretty, and she is in India, and today is her birthday. But the reason I wanted to share her with you is she is pretty. Her name is pretty and she makes products that will help you to look pretty. And since we live in a world that's saturated with beauty products, I wanted to share pretty with you because her products are different. And I thought it would be nice <clears throat> for her to tell us where the inspiration came from for these products and why they're different. Her name is Pretty Betty and she lives in the Bangalore area in India. And I am happy to share her with you. So Pretty, welcome to Conversations with Jenny Lynn. Thank you, Jenny Lynn. And it's an honor to be here with you today. Um, it is a great pleasure to talk about the inception of uh, my brand and uh, what are the plans for my products uh, globally. And coming to the inception of uh, this brand, how I started developing these products. Well, um, I gradually developed products, uh, you know, when I started my wellness center and I initially started with aromatherapy and recommended essential oils to people for various uh, things. And then gradually I started doing various courses on skincare and I started developing products um, based on demographies and lifestyle. So um, I'm in that stage where I'm still testing my products and I try and uh, customize it based on the climatic conditions and also the availability of resources. Hence, I have a big range now to be launched and uh, it has been accepted very well in various countries through various events that I have participated in. And uh, I'm really looking forward to launch these in the US market as well. And uh, we are going to start soon with uh, our hair oil, which is a signature product and has been um, accepted very well uh, by everybody. And they have um, seen a lot of difference in terms of uh, reduction in hair form. And apart from that, we have uh, many other products. And uh, as I said, uh, we customize it based on the skin and climatic conditions. So uh, I, I have some of the products which I can talk about. And uh, as and when we, you know, get requirements and, uh, you know, we work on them uh, and when we are launching them in various geographies, uh, we will make sure that it is as per their standards. Wonderful. So pretty. I know that so many people struggle with balding men at a certain age, some people younger day in their younger life, people who've had cancer and had chemo treatments, uh, women as they get older, you know, for, for various reasons. Um, some people have alopecia, sometimes it's stress. And so hair loss is a, is, a, is a common problem. And as far as I know, we've heard of a few remedies, Rogaine and different things, but I don't know, apart from where people actually have hair transplants, where they've had great success, successes with that issue. However, your hair oil has a reputation for helping people with hair loss. You wanna talk about your hair oil and how, and how you started yeah. making that? Yeah, sure. So, um... As I told you, I keep testing the you know, various products and uh, my mother was diagnosed with uh, cancer about two years back. And uh, I started developing a hair oil based on uh, 
my you know knowledge of aromatherapy and also a bit of ayurveda and i started uh, testing on her and uh, of course myself and we saw a significant uh, increase in uh, hair growth after using that oil and it, it came out thicker than before in fact wow so that was the starting point you know which made me actually think about launching it in a big way and here i am wanting to launch it commercially and i'm in the process of doing that because uh, we are collaborating with uh, manufacturers who are going to make as per our quality standards and how long ago was that because everyone wants to know you've been using something or something has been effectively um uh, effectively creating regrowth in the case of ear loss for a long period of time before they believe in its authenticity so how long would you say this product you've had this product around and what kind of feedback have you gotten from people using it well uh it has been around for the last uh, five six months and it's been tested in the local market um well, people have reported a reduction of at least 20 to 30% in their hair fall. And, uh, you know, it has been uh, able to uh, generate a better hair growth. And also, uh, we try and combine it with other hair products. Like, uh, you know, I always suggest a natural shampoo to team it up with because uh, you need a good quality shampoo as well, which is, uh, you know, SLS free. So SLS is uh, sodium lauryl sulfate and uh, it is not good for hair. So, uh, so I recommend that and that is our next product that is going to come. Um, so I'm really looking forward to launching this product, especially in the US market. Okay, great. So, um... I have seen some of your products because you've not haven't physically seen them, but I've seen pictures of them and you've written to me in terms of what you've included in them. Tell us about your soaps and your, we'll, we'll start with your soaps. How are those different from, I mean, everyone says their product is the best. It's like everybody thinks their baby is the best as we should. So tell us why, are your soaps better? Okay, uh, so first of all, uh, they are uh, SLS free and paraben free. Uh, you know, these are chemicals that go into the soaps, um, which also make them lather, but they are not very good for the skin. And as you know, parabens cause cancer as well. So I try my best to use the best possible ingredients and I source it from the best uh, producers, whether it's uh, within the country or overseas through other uh, suppliers. Um, I have my own formulations, which I work with, and I try and test them uh, on you know, myself and a close group of people. And we are also getting it uh, tested um, in the labs. Uh, to launch it commercially shortly. So um, the difference uh, compared to other brands is we really work on the problem. Say I want to work on acne, on reducing somebody's acne. I have a product that has actually helped me. Then I have an antibacterial soap, you know, which has the best ingredients from India and it is inspired from Ayurveda. I have this antibacterial soap, which is proven uh, by our internal department. Uh, the oil that we use here it is antibacterial. It has been proven. So, uh, so I try and use uh, ingredients that have been proven scientifically that they help with various issues. And then I try and test them. And then, um, you know, I want to commercialize them only based on those facts. 
that that's the reason I have gone so slow and you know I have um, collaborated with people uh, who do not compromise on these ingredients too. So can you tell us some of, I mean, you don't want to give away your formulas, but the, but the ingredients that are safe to discuss, would you like to share what are in some of your soaps? Just because, um, you know, they sounded very exotic when you shared them with me in terms of, you know, what you've actually put in one soap. I thought they sounded like they would be great for some of them, people with sensitive skin. Some of them, you told me you have um, Himalaya well, is... salt and charcoal. So tell us what's yes. tell us about that. That's right. So uh, charcoal is used uh, for uh, skin, which is oily, and it also helps with acne. Um, then I've also used neem and also moringa. Moringa is a superfood, which is helpful for a whole lot of issues. So we have moringa tea as well, in fact, and uh, that is used in our soap, as well as our uh, clays that we have, the face packs, because that really helps with cleansing your skin. Okay. And, yeah. So like that, we have, uh, Soaps which have ingredients like saffron, we have turmeric, and that also helps with these issues, with acne and you know with oily skin and a um, whole lot of issues uh, like you know you have um, dark patches at times uh, due to sunstroke, sometimes due to a whole lot of uh, you know, pollution. So uh, we recommend based on that, whatever issue the person is having, I recommend uh, the product accordingly. So what, how many different types of soaps do you have? Well, we have various types and uh, with various blends, and I'm looking to launch them in different markets based on their requirement. So, uh, you know, if, if the skin is very dry in a particular uh, region, then um, I actually put more ingredients in it, say, this is goat milk. So this is very good for dry skin. Goat milk? It, yes, goat milk. So what else is in there besides the goat milk? Uh, there's rose and there are various oils. Okay. Okay. And if the uh, climate condition is really dry, then I would also combine uh, shea butter or kokum butter, you know, any form of butter, which would actually help in moisturizing the skin. And you only use natural ingredients, you said? Yes, I only use natural ingredients. So how many varieties of soaps do you have? Do you have six? Do you have two? Do you have three? How many would you say total? Well, I have about uh, at least about five or six right okay. now. But uh, as I told you, I'm uh, quite flexible in offering, uh, you know, based on everybody's requirements. So we, we keep developing various flavors and we would actually have about 20 or 30 totally. But, uh, you know, as we get the requirement from the client, we work on it. So right now I'm working on a couple of requirements for a couple of countries, uh, you know, which is again based on their climatic conditions. And so you make soaps, you have the hair oil. A lot of people are sort of not, not, not necessarily deviating, but they prefer liquid soaps. Do you make any liquid soap for people? Yes, we do. we do, you do. You have yes, we do. Oh. Yeah, okay. we have. And are those in the same combinations as the bars? Uh, the combinations are a little bit different at times because it becomes difficult to actually uh, contain them or you know stabilize them. But uh, we try and use uh, extracts as much as possible to make them into liquid form, and you know so that it has the same kind of texture that, uh, you know, uh, the effect that uh, normal bar would give. 
And so you have the soaps, you have oils, do you make body lotions and what else do you manufacture? Yeah, so uh, we have made some body lotions, which are again, uh, made as for the, you know, skin type and also uh, how dry or how uh, cold the weather is. And, uh, you know, we change the formula according to that. So, uh, so we do have uh, butters in various bases, like uh, we have uh, mango butter, we have cocoa butter, we have cocoa butter, and we have shea butter. So there are various types of butters, and in those butters, we add various other ingredients, and that makes it into a finished product. Mm -hmm. This is great. So pretty. Um, what kind of markets are you currently supplying with your products and uh, which countries are these markets in? Well, uh, we have just been, uh, you know, exploring the markets now for uh, official launch. We have not really launched them. We are just testing in the markets right now. So uh, we have plans of launching in UAE, Sri Lanka, uh, UK and USA. Apart from that, uh, any other country that you know wants our products. So we have been in talks with various people across various geographies. So for someone watching my show that is looking at you thinking what people always think when you're sitting there, when anyone is sitting there telling them how wonderful whatever they're selling is, why would anybody buy your products? Why should they buy your products versus any other product what makes it a competitive product that will provide and meet the needs of the consumer well um, the primary reason being they are being ethically sourced um, and they have been made with a divine inspiration of ensuring that there is a change you know, uh, in whatever aspect that uh, one is looking for. So we strive our best that uh, the person benefits out of using the product and we make changes accordingly so that we derive, uh, you know, at the perfect formulation that one wants for their skin. How about shampoos and, and conditioners for the hair? Are you manufacturing those as well? Well, that we have plans, uh, we have been testing um, and uh, we will definitely launch that along with uh, the hair. This is wonderful. So why do you enjoy doing this? Is this your passion? Yes, actually I realized that it has become my passion. Um, I came from a totally different background in financial services. And, and uh, this just gradually happened. Uh, I just wanted to do something that I like doing. And I came into the field of wellness um, and starting with aromatherapy, you know, this just came as an inspiration. And I keep developing more and more products every day. So since you have an aromatherapy background, how does that play into these products? Do you, be, because first of all, do you want to speak a little bit to aromatherapy? A lot of people aren't sure what that is. So could you first tell us what it is and then tell us how, how you're incorporating your knowledge and experience of aromatherapy in the products you're currently manufacturing? Sure. So uh, aromatherapy is a science of uh, fragrance. And uh, every fragrance has its own properties. So there are various types of fragrances, whether it's floral or, you know, it is uh, lemony or it is earthy. So, you know, there are various types of uh, fragrances. And as per the standards of aromatherapy, you can blend only a certain types of oils with each, with each other. So, um, so that, you know, that gives you maximum benefit, that particular combination gives you that particular, uh, you know, result that you're looking for. So uh, I have been using this science and it has worked wonders. 
be it curing headache or cold or body ache, it has really worked wonders. So I have not really, uh, you know, launched the finished products, but I keep recommending people, what is the combination that you need to use to cure your headache or body ache? So, uh, you know, so that they are benefited out of it. This is great. So you have actually used um, aromatherapy to cure those symptoms that you just discussed, not symptoms, yes. but problems. You just yeah. discussed a few minutes ago, really? And do yes. you, you apply it to the areas? Do you burn it or both? Yeah, it's both primarily, but um, usually it is best to apply mm -hmm. uh, in the particular area that has been affected. So you use that particular combination uh, to cure your headache. You put it on your forehead or for cold, you put it on your neck or your nose. And for the body ache in a particular area, uh, whichever area needs. And so, uh, oh, thank you. And you, you told me um, off the camera that you also manufacture and sell teas. Tell us about your teas. Yes. Yes. So uh, we've created a range of uh, herbal teas, which are extremely good for various. Uh, things. And uh, again, this is also inspired uh, because of, you know, uh, various issues that are there. And uh, so I came up with a range, which is uh, primarily uh, more into, you know, wellness. And uh, I wouldn't say that it cures any particular ailment, but it helps in uh, building your immunity. So again, we have uh, sourced various herbs from different uh, producers all across the country. And uh, I recommend that as well, according to the issue that people have. For okay. instance, for sleep, we recommend lavender tea. And then they, if they have a body ache, I recommend rosemary and hence, hence for. So these are teas that have come from natural herbs. Yes, these are natural herbs and they are blended with green teas. We also have black teas and uh, sometimes we customize the black teas uh, into various uh, herbs, uh, you know, as per the requirement of the customer, what they're looking for. So great, you have a great range of products that you have soaps, body wash, mm -hmm. you have lotions, you yes. have teas, you have hair mm -hmm. oil, but you mm -hmm. also have candles, don't you? Oh yeah, um, I have made uh, candles as well and we are looking forward to market those as well. So we're trying to figure out, um, you know, how to um, send them overseas uh, because the packaging is in glass and you know, we, we want it to be packaged well. So I don't know about India because I've never visited India, but I know when you walk into the average store in America, there are so many candles. There are so yeah. many soaps, lotions, potions, body washes. It's, it can be overwhelming. And what I know for myself personally is when I like a product, I will continue to use it. And so even though I see so many more, I still use the one that I have experience with that is that is working for me. I don't know how manufacturers, because there are quite a lot of good products out there. How do you get people to try yours to see how it compares to others? What plans do you have to get your products, if any, before in the in front of the customer to at least try it to see if it's a product that they will really um, benefit from using. Do you have any plans? Yeah. To roll that so, out. Um, yeah. So currently, as uh, I mentioned, we are just test marketing it, and it is through referrals in our closed circle. 
So uh, usually uh, we sell them through referrals. Anybody who's really benefited by the product, they recommend to their friends. And that's how I've had a steady stream of customers. And that gave me the confidence to launch it, not only within the country, but also globally. Great. So I can tell you right now that one of the, one of, what I think will be a great seller here in the US will be your hair oil. Because yeah. I know so many friends um, that complain about, you know, hair loss. And mm -hmm. um, a lot of them think it's coming from stress. So it would be interesting to get your product here, the hair oil, and try it. And then um, maybe we can do a show to tell people the results because um, if you have something that works and it's all natural, why not? You know, it'd be great to have people try it and, and be able to use it. When it is ready for the market, where would people most likely find it? When you're ready to sell it in the, in the US, what plans do you have um, in terms of where it's going to be sold? Do you know that as yet? Yeah, so uh, we would uh, start with uh, Amazon okay. and a few other portals that we are talking to. So that would be the first choice. And of course, uh, we would also have uh, some representatives or distributors uh, who would be keen to stock our products. So that is also our plan. And uh, we keep uh, looking for you know, interested uh, buyers who are keen to launch our products overseas. Um, similarly in UAE uh, and also in uh, other countries, we have identified some people who would be keen to, um, you know, uh, help us launch in their respective geographies. And also, um, you know, take them to various stores and uh, to the ultimate consumer. And we would have some testing kits as well. So uh, we would have small um, sizes so that people could first try and then uh, they want to go in for, uh, for it over you know, uh, a longer period then they can pick up the bigger one. So I'm looking at the wall behind you and I see what I think are bad salts. Do you also sell bad salt? Yes. Could you yes, yes, that? that's, yes. So uh, bath salts are uh, like staple food, you know, here uh, in India, because, uh, you know, it consists of uh, Himalayan pink salt, which is rich in minerals. And uh, this is extremely helpful in detoxification. So uh, this is one product that I really recommend uh, because it really helps you uh, cleanse your aura and also de-stress de yourself, you know, especially uh, at the end of a, uh, if you are really tired, you know, it really helps you relax. Okay. And up above, I see a similar bottle, but it looks like it has oil. Is that the hair oil? Yeah, that's the hair oil, and okay. uh, it also has some herbs below that. Okay. So, um, and the little yeah. bottles that you have, are those aromatherapy oils? Yes, uh, some are aromatherapy oils, and some are also herbal extracts. Okay. What so herbal herbs? extracts are um, extracts for consumption, which also help with immunity and a whole lot of issues. And they are uh, uh, available as single flavors. They are not blended. So uh, for, for instance, uh, raspberry, we have uh, moringa, then we have ashwagandha. So uh, these are the herbs which are uh, extremely helpful with various uh, you know, sleep disorders or anxiety or stress levels. So uh, we recommend them again based on uh, what issues the person is facing. We're out of time, but I want to ask you this question. You said your mother had cancer. Besides yeah. hair oil, 
Did any of your products help your mother? Well, yes, I uh, also gave her these herbal extracts. Apart from the normal treatment that was going on, we combined it with various herbs um, and also a whole lot of uh, immunity boosters that are available as per Ayurveda. So we tried everything and that actually helped in recovering much faster. Well, Pretty, I've really enjoyed learning about your products and sharing this information with my viewers. And as Thank always, you. before I wrap, I always ask my guests, what haven't I asked you that you would like to leave with my viewers? Well, uh, I have only one request. Please take care of your body because whatever you are applying on your skin, that goes inside your body. So you need to be very careful about what are the ingredients that are going into the skincare products because they directly affect your health. And they, are, they could be cancer-causing chemicals at times. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely important to actually review all your products and um, decide what kind of products would be good for you. And we would be happy to help you if you have any questions regarding the same. Thank you so much, Pretty, and happy birthday. I know, I know it's actually the end of your birthday because it's night in India. It's now morning here for me. So I know it's your evening. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. And I hope Thank that you. this was a fun addition to your birthday, sitting here and being quizzed by me. But um, I wish you, you the best and many, many, many more birthdays. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure and honor to be here with you today. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're so welcome. And I hope this is like one, hopefully this is a birthday present. Since I wasn't Thank able Thank you, to it is. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much to send you one and thank you so much for watching conversations with jenny lynn i try to bring many types of conversations to inspire you in various ways so i thank you again for watching my show um, and i will bring you another exciting segment very soon and i will see you next time Thank you.